Thought we might add one other set of holes that we could use for face drilling. Um, I've switched this to a right side view. And of course, when I switch to a right side view, it automatically set my construction plane and tool plane to a right side view. And um, when I put this geometry on here, I want it to be at a specific depth. I want to do some 2D construction. So switch your 3D to 2D just by clicking on it here and set your Z to minus 1.85. So whatever we draw is going to be two-dimensionally laid out at that Z depth through this view. I'm going to pick a different color for this. And we're going to go to create bolt circle. And for my base point position, I'm going to pick this center point. Now, before we had this set to a rotary axis type of function, and then we told it to wrap it around X, I don't want it to do it like a rotary axis. I just want it to be a group of holes through the current view, which is a right side view. And I'm going to set my radius to 1.85 same number we used for the depth, divided by 2. And we're still going to stick with the same diameter of holes. Uh, we could turn off the points this time. We'll pick them by arcs or color. We're still going to do 8 holes, 45 degrees. Basically, we're going to make these holes meet up with these other cross-drilled holes. And we're going to OK that. So now you can see where those are. Now we'll say solid, extrude, and I'm just going to pick each one of these arcs. Now where you pick them can make a difference. It'll make a difference in which way it's going to extrude this. It doesn't really matter because I can change the direction for each one of these. So some of them I picked clockwise, some of them I picked counterclockwise. When I say OK, you'll see some are pointing in, some are pointing out. Well, I can just click on the ones that are going in the wrong direction, and it will change their direction. So now they're all pointing in towards the model. I want to do cut bodies again, but this time I want to extend to a point. And we're going to say OK, and it will say select the point to extrude to, and I'm going to pick one of these points at the center of the hole. Because I don't really know what the actual distance is from this circle to the center of that hole. So when I say extrude to the center, I get a perfect cut that joins those together. 